bring you the modifications that we've made to our rig to give you guys more of an insight into what we're doing and how we van. I'm Ann and the handsome man behind the camera is my husband Wade. Before we get started with our modification, I wanted to, you know, lay the groundwork on a couple of things. Number one, I am not an actress nor a professional YouTuber, as you can probably figure out. But we're here trying to bring information that we think is helpful for you because we certainly needed the information when we were doing our research on vans and van life. A couple of things to note first. This is a Grudge Turismo Ion 4x4. Let me break that down just a little bit. Grudge. They've been, they're very famous for their limousines. Last several years, they've parlayed into the van RV business. And this is where we got this bad boy. And Gretsch has three versions. Turismo is their 19 footer. This is the small one. That's the one that we have. They also have a 22 footer. And then they have the 24 footer. Ion. Ion is an all electric house. It doesn't have anything to do with the Mercedes chassis that is still diesel run but inside the house ion means that it is all electric there is no propane there is no generator everything runs on the two batteries and the inverter or you can plug in to shore power obviously four by four we picked that version but they also have the the two wheel drive so i just wanted to break down because i don't think i've done that in past videos this is our gretch turismo ion four by four on the mercedes chassis so Let's take it, let's take it and let's look at our first modification. Based on research and based on the fact that we used to have a Airstream Interstate 19, we knew that the ride is a little on the shaky side with the current suspension that comes with the rigs. And based on our research, based on what other people have said, one of the first things that we did was we got an upgraded suspension. We got the Van Compass 4.3 suspension upgrade. They are on all four wheels. And they're right in here if you want to take a peek. It's easy as one, two, three. There are three settings. The first setting is when you want it to be nice and soft if you're going off-roading. If you need that flexibility where you just want to feel and you need the, the rig to, to move with all the bumps and the washboards and things like that. Two is for basically everyday driving when you just need, you need a little flexibility but you don't need it to be too soft. And then three is when you really want it to be stiff and you really want it to be firm and you don't want it to move. For example, really windy days on that highway where you don't want to be going back and forth. This costs about $3,500 um, plus the install, so it's not cheap. Um, it does cost some money, but we actually think it was well worth it and we're very happy with our suspension upgrade. Also, install takes about half a day, so plan on that. So with the suspension, it is a manual change. That's the version that we got. We have to get out of the van and it takes just a couple of seconds on every single wheel, but you can get an upgrade to the suspension too, but you have a remote control so you can do it from the rig. That is handy. So if you have extra cash lying around, maybe that's where you want to spend it. So next, why don't I take you over and show you the pedal control 2.0. That was another upgrade. This was basically my husband really wanted it. So he got it. The pedal control 2.0. The purpose of this was to really give it a little bit extra, help it to get a start um, off the line and give it a little bit more gas. So it was easy to drive and it didn't feel like it was so sluggish. This is about $300 and installation is really simple. It only takes about five minutes. All right, I have another modification for you. The reason why we're calling these modifications is because they're permanently mounted to the van. So consider it a modification versus gear. The gear video is coming out. It's coming out soon, probably later this week. So subscribe if you haven't already done so. So you're first to see that one. Now, what do we have? From Al Vans, we have two boxes. We have the ladder and spare tire rack. This is the medium box. This is the large box. The reason why we have these is because, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is an ion. It has two batteries and the batteries are in the garage. There is no garage, there's no space. So if you want to put those hoses and the electrical wires and your chairs someplace like a garage, there is no room. So that's why we got this for all that outdoor gear. And these two boxes are attached to the B2 carrier, which is firmly mounted to the um, to the hinges 
Now over here, you can see our ladder and a place for our spare tire. We felt as a four x four rig, we needed to bring our spare tire along just in case. The Alabama Expedition boxes, both of them, plus the B2 carrier was 3,600 plus the install. The Alavan ladder provides easy access to the roof should we ever need it. And it's also what we think the most convenient way to carry a full size spare wheel. The Alavan ladder and tire carrier cost 3,800 plus the install. This does not include the full size wheel, which ran us about $600 for the tire and the extra rim. All right, now let's go on the inside and see what we've modified. I'm gonna show you a couple of the modifications that we made here. First being our window coverings. We got the window coverings from Van Essential uh, for the front cab windows, as well as for the fan. So one of the first things we noticed on our very first night in the rig was when we put up the window shades that came with the Gretsch, they didn't stay. When I say they didn't stay, they didn't actually go on. The only way we were able to get them on is by rolling down the window and shoving it up there or opening up the door and then shutting the door on the window shades. Very inconvenient, kind of frustrating. So that was actually one of the very first purchases was new window coverings. I have one of the window shades for the driver's side window. Let me put it up. All right, first time I'm installing it. Now, as you remember, I had a, a time doing the ones that came with the Gretsch and I never really actually succeeded in doing it. Let's see how I do today. Voila, it stays. We got a window covering for the van fan as well. Let's see how it goes. Much easier. One modification that we haven't purchased just yet, but we plan on it, are mats for the front. I'm gonna show you why. This mat, in the passenger seat, it just floats around. It doesn't, it's not secure at all. It's just wiggly as all get out. The driver's side is a bit wiggly too, even though it does have a locking mechanism. It does have a tendency to shift around. Don't like it getting in and out, and this, honestly, I find is a safety hazard. Another modification that we've made is that we've added a wooden bath mat to our bathroom or to our shower. So as you can see, there is our wooden bath mat. Oh, my husband just bought a, basically an oversized wood mat and he custom made it. Um, you can see that it, it's cut out around the toilet cut out around the notch there and then he stopped it right at the you know kind of halfway between it kind of holding our trash can which is a nice little feature so the trash can doesn't move around now one thing that the way that we're using it people probably think that we use it as our shower mat um, and that would be nice but I prefer to use it to keep it dry so when I take a shower I take out the bath mat and it's very easy to do I simply just take out the bath mat I put it behind the driver's side. And then now I can step in and take my shower. And now I don't have to dry the floor. So now I can just put the mat right back in onto the wet floor. And now the floor is dry. This is about $59 on Amazon. It took about two hours to measure and cut. One last final thing. This is um, small, but you know, fairly convenient. We put um, two baskets, one for myself and one for my husband. They're just simple S hooks. And these were, you know, simple baskets from, from Target. And the purpose of these baskets was I really wanted something to hold a our charger so we could charge our phone or Apple watches, things like that at night. For me, I also wanted it to hold my, my Kindle, a bottle of water, some Kleenex, and I needed something for that. You're probably thinking, well, there's a decent shelf here. Why don't you just use this? And I thought that too. The first night we did. The shade comes down, 
push it back, put my bottle of water, put my chargers here and everything, and it all fit just great. But the thing was, it moved the shade in. So two things, one in the morning, the light was creeping in a lot more than it would have if I didn't, if I wouldn't have moved the shade. And two, uh, the insulation was worse. I could feel more cold air coming in when the, the shade was, um, was, you know, moved around because of my water and other items that I was placing. So that's why we got these baskets. The baskets were, um, were basically from, I think it was like a bath caddy that my husband just kind of, uh, jimmied up here he kind of took it apart um kept the two baskets um and then the s hooks were um were additional person so the s hooks i think cost a couple of bucks and then the the basket or that that vanity thing cost um about 24 bucks from 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 target hi i'm back we had a little issue with the uh the first video where um we cut out this modification this is our white top adventures headliner shelf and we didn't want to miss it so i came back out we're doing um this little bit of the video over again so this is our headliner shelf i absolutely love it it provides us extra storage and it's a lot of extra storage um it goes all the way back there and i absolutely love it there's a lot of extra storage here i think it's well worth the um the price is well worth the well worth the pain i personally like it I'm nice and short. I can go underneath it just fine. My husband, who is six feet tall, has become good friends with the uh, with the shelf and his head. But he will learn. Um, anyway, we really do think this is uh, well worth it, and it does provide a lot of extra space. One thing that it came with is a um, is a curtain. They actually had a couple of choices. They had a couple of choices of the um, a wraparound rod. They also had a choice of a rod to go straight across. And we chose the curtain that wraps around. Let me just go ahead and demonstrate it really quick. There's a blackout curtain. This headliner shelf cost about $400. It took about one to two hours to install. Sometimes uh, the putting in the hooks could be the, uh, the longest part. Um, and then of course, installing the, uh, the, the curtain rod also took a little bit of time. Now, I think that was pretty much all the modifications that we've, we've made to date. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Appreciate your time. Really would love it if you guys would subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, please let us know. All of you out there, I'm sure you guys have done modifications too. Let us know what you've done or what your favorite one was. Any comments, suggestions, questions, please hit us up. Thank you. I'm Ann. That's Wade. We're Wade and Ann with How We Van. I don't... when the, the shade was, um, was, you know, moved around because of my waddle. They're changing the suspension. I get wigged out by my audience. All right. I, I don't, I don't have one right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.